am I wearing a Frank Iero jacket on top of a My Chemical Romance shirt? Yes, I am, because I am 24 and still going through my emo phase. I'm gonna just take this off. It's a bit too much emo for this video. There's no such thing. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, and if you clicked on this video, you have probably chosen to go to a community college. I am here as a fellow community college student to talk to you guys about how to deal with that social stigma of going to a community college. Why did I do this? I don't know. Just to cover the basics, if you don't know what a community college is, don't know why you're watching this video, but let me give you some info. Community colleges are a system of two-year schools that prepare students for transfer to a four-year university. They fulfill the lower division requirements for majors at a lower cost so you can spend less time at the more expensive schools, therefore saving you money. Okay, now that you've got that information, let's cover some common myths about community college. Myth number one, students choose to go to a community college because they don't have the grades to get into a four-year. Myth number two, they are only seeking vocational training. And myth number three, the one that I dislike the most, is that community college students are lazy. All right, on both parts one and three, I want to say that studies have shown that community college students who then transfer on to a four-year university oftentimes have better grades than people who have been going to a four-year university for their entire four years of college. I mean, that kind of speaks for itself, don't you think? I also just wanted to say that, you know, it doesn't always have to do with grades, you know, sometimes uh, you have to take care of family members, maybe you have a kid that you need to take care of, maybe you can't afford college, there's a lot more than just grades when it comes to choosing community college over a four year. On myth number two, there was actually a study done in 2015 by the Teachers College at Columbia University that shows that 80% of students attending a community college student are aiming to earn for a bachelor's degree and more. On the point of myth number three, that community college students are lazy, that is such a joke because community colleges are rated to be just as difficult as a four-year university, which is why the classes that you take at a community college are transferable to four-year universities. So the lower division classes that you're taking at your CC are the same lower division classes you'd be taking at a university. So they're the same amount of difficulty, you're expected to fulfill the same amount of units or credits. So in reality, community college students are doing just as much as university students and sometimes even more if you have a job or you have kids to take care of. So now that I've gone over some of the myths, I want to talk about how to deal with this issue in your personal life because, you know, parents and relatives are all up in your business. They have no business being up in your business, but let's talk about that. My first piece of advice is to remember all of the reasons why you chose to go to a community college. I mean, those reasons can include living at home, you know, saving money, studying at your own pace, a work-study balance, you know, family commitments, the affordability. Those are all really, really valid reasons to go to a CC rather than a university right out of high school. You can remind family members that community colleges are, again, accredited. They are graded to be just as difficult as the courses you would take at a university. And in fact, a lot of people who move on to a four-year university often report that those classes they take there are often easier than the classes they took at their community college. Another thing you can point out to family members is that community colleges often have honors programs, meaning that they give you the classes at an even higher level than, college, than your normal college class. Um, they also have honor societies, or you can be on the honor roll if you get a good GPA. Community colleges do encourage their students to do well. Another thing to remember is that you're not alone. There are tons of people who go to community college, and there are tons of people who deal with the stigma in their life and with their family. That was a fly that just went past my face. <laughs> and to wrap up this whole video, let me remind you some of the benefits of going to community college. Just remember, a community college is affordable, it's flexible, there's smaller class sizes, you have more opportunity to explore your options. If you really want to know all of the different reasons why a community college might be right for you, just go ahead and click in one of these corners for a video that I did all about that subject. And remember that everybody takes their own path through life. And it's totally okay if community college is part of that path for you. If you have the ability to look at yourself and your personality and understand the way that you learn and you choose to go to a community college because of those reasons, you're setting yourself up for success. And ultimately, knowing what to do to set yourself up for success is what's going to help you succeed when you move on to a four-year university. And maybe even later on in life when you choose to get a graduate degree or when you enter the workforce. Just know what works for you and be confident in that decision because you're the only person who knows you better than anyone else. 
Anyways, that is my advice for dealing with the social stigma surrounding community colleges. Keep your head up, work hard, you got this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm so pale. I am, in fact, quite pale today. Is it because I'm wearing my winter foundation and I am tan from summer so my foundation doesn't match my skin tone? Probably.